Hi, I'm Mr. Sam, the allotment man, and this is my shed. <laughs> Well guys, as I said, we're in my shed today and we're going to do something that a lot of people have asked for. They want to know how to make those bird scaring windmills. So, I'm going to make a video. Here's a bird scarer I've made, there you go. And it is quite simply made out of one of these. A pop bottle, or as I use, a water bottle. I got them from Asda, they're 17p each. Okay, uh, we're going to show you how to make them from the first step to the second step. We're going to do it quickly or else it's a little bit boring. So here goes how to make a windmill. Right, we're going to keep it simple. This is how you mark out your bottle. It's a bit like this. Okay, you draw a line from the top to the bottom. That's your first line. And then just keep on drawing a line all the way around, top to bottom, until you get to the other side. I'm just using a, a normal ruler. I've just used the width of that. It's about a centimetre and a half. You work out your own measurements for your own bottles. Once you've done that, you mark out about a centimetre uh, down from each end and you draw a line all the way around. Again, it doesn't have to be that precise. And then you draw a diagonal line from top to bottom, okay? All the way around in each little box. And you do that on the same side. Now you make sure that the lines are going the same way. So this one's going from uh, that side to that side and that side to that side. Doesn't matter as long as they're the same. Okay, that's your marking out done. Right, the next thing you're going to have to do is do the cutting. Now I use a Stanley knife. Uh, if there's any kids trying to do this, uh, please ask an adult to help you or just get them to do it really, it's easier. Uh, and we don't want any cut fingers, okay? Or you can use pair of scissors, probably a bit, bit, bit safer, but I find it a trickier. Okay. Now what you need to do, you need to cut from the top of your line all the way down to the bottom. Now at this point, ignore the, the tram tracks, the, the little centimetre track with the diagonal lines in it. Don't worry about that, cut all the way through it from the top all the way to the bottom. And what you'll end up is like this. Oops, sorry about that. It's like a Chinese lantern effect. I don't know if you can see that. It's all spraying out like that okay so that's what you've got now this is the trickiest point of making the windmill what you need to do is fold the plastic now all you have to do okay is fold on the diagonal lines and you fold outwards okay because this is going to make the 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 blade of your windmill so i'm going to just all it is is folding like this oh let's show you a little bit closer and you do that all the way around okay on each side Okay, and then once you've done that, uh, you will have uh, something looking like, like this. Right, what we've done, we've folded all our little blades, okay, and I've done it on both ends, and now what we're going to do is going to squeeze it all together, and you'll notice that because you've folded the same way on each side, you've now got uh, your blades, and it looks a bit like a flower. So, uh, and you're pretty much there now, that's our windmill. Uh, now I'm gonna show you how to put it on the wire uh, and make sure it stays there. So there we are. So we've done all our folding, what we need to do now is mount our windmill on the wire. We're gonna use this piece of wire, uh, it's just a bit of junk I found in the shed. So I need to put a hole in the top and a bottom. And what we do, we use a drill. Okay, uh, as you can see, I've already, well, you might not be able to see, I've drilled a hole. That one is in there, and the other one is in the bottom. Basically, when you see uh, your bottles, you'll see there's a hole in the, a place to drill um, your holes. So stick them in there. And then what you've got to do is you've got to bend your piece of wire. I know you probably can't see this. So um, uh, you bend at right angles at the top. Okay, this is where you t your cap's going to go. But to stop uh, your windmill clanking around, I just do this. Now I'll, I'll make a bit more, I'll come up close for this. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bend it like this. 
So we've got like that sort of shape. Hopefully that's in focus. Okay. And then I'm going to bend it back on itself. And again. Oop. Okay. Like that. So we've got that shape. It's like a hook. So what happens is, is then we put our bottle cap back on like so. And when it spins, it won't come off. But we do have to make sure that the wire comes back to center. Okay. And by that, I mean, so this piece of wire is generally straight. So it's not going to jangle around too much. Okay. So there's that. So that goes on there like so. And then we get our bottle. Okay, we put the wire through. It goes through the hole in the other end, like so. And just do up the bottle. It's a little bit blue Peter, sorry about this. Do, 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 do. Nothing wrong with blue Peter. Um, used to like Janet Ellis myself. Don't tell my dad about that, she's a lot older now. Um, there we go. Uh, there is the windmill put together. There we go. That'll spin on there like so. Now on to the next. Now here's our, our windmill. Obviously this wire uh, is sticking out here straight and that needs to be at right angles. Okay, so you just get your pliers. Uh, I'm t teaching you to suck eggs here. Okay, and just uh, bend it over like so. So there we go. But of course, look, we have a little bit of a crisis. Uh, it's all all over the place. Uh, now what I do is basically squeeze all of these blades together. All right, squeeze them together like so. Just squeeze them at the top and you're putting a fold in the top. Now, when I saw this online, because this isn't my own idea, I have seen it online and there, I'll put a link to, to the pictures where I found it. Um, to the, the people who put it on there. I think it was originally done on TV, um, but it's been banded around a bit now. So that goes on there like that. But of course, it won't spin because it's hitting the back. So what I do, it's a bit basic, but I just put sellotape around the blades to keep it together, and it stops the bottle from expanding, okay, and hitting the back. So I'm going to quickly do that now, um, just with a bit of sellotape, uh, and it looks a little bit like this. Right, guys, um, I haven't shown you me sellotaping it up because obviously I don't think you really need to see that. But if you can look closely, each blade has got just a piece of sellotape wrapped around it and it's holding the back of the bottle away from the, the bend. And it now it spins. There you are. And that, that's it done, complete. Uh, you might see my other bird scarers on the allotment have got silver tape around them. Um, I don't know where it is basically, so but this will do. It makes a noise and you can see it, it's reflecting, so that's good. And then all you need is a piece of wood, a piece of wood, drill a hole in the end of it. That's all you have to do. Pop that in the top and there you go. Obviously you need a bit more wind than that. But that's your bird scare. It's spin around and hopefully keep your brassicas nice. Uh, a little bit of inf information for you if you're growing kale. And I put a bit of kale in the ground the other day and I didn't net them. I do not have kale anymore. So, warning out there for you. You probably knew this. I didn't. Uh, just in case you didn't, you do now. So there you are. Bird scarers. Hope you've enjoyed them. Um, make them yourself. They're great. Ah, but be careful. I've had three nicked already. So get a decent supply. And also, before I go, I'd like to just say thank you to a gentleman called Rick Van Man. Uh, Rick done a shout out for me uh, about last week, and I now have got loads and loads of subscribers and loads of views. So thank you very much, Rick. And also, thank you very much to all the people who have come over and had a look. So uh, we're going to be down on the allotment uh, very soon. Uh, but from my shed, uh, thanks very much and happy growing. <laughs>